do you think most of the problem arise only when the daughter in law enters the house what if i say too much of interference from a mother in law side can cause havoc in a daughter in law's life as well that may be one of the causes for these disputes in the family because there are some mothers who are trying to interfere in every little bit of their son's life and the daughter in law's life becomes hell sometimes there are some mothers who are planning the outing of their of these couples the newly married couple has to seek mother in law's permission to go for an outing when to go and when not which place to go where which restaurant to go all these things are decided by the mother in law there are some families who plan the expenditure the budget is decided at home by the mother in law where to spend and where not what has to be bought to the house and what not everything is decided by the mother in law do you think when the son has his own family don't you think he has a priority also to spend on the things that he wants and he has to decide about this don't you think they have their own liberty there are some parents who are deciding about their grandchildren's school and also they they are the ones who decide what kind of clothes and what kind of food their grandchildren should use don't you think these are extreme levels do the parents have the right to choose right education system or to choose right schooling and food and clothing to their children why should grandparents get involved in all these things ubu muhammad in this book when the two sees meet has explained beautiful yet very powerful tips for mother in laws how to get out of these circumstances and create harmony at home number 1 she has to be tolerant and try to control all the emotions this is very important secondly she also has to know her boundaries she should set her own boundaries and not go beyond it let the couples decide what they have to do and what are the priorities in life what are the expenses they have to decide learn by themselves how to maintain a budget and how to how to maintain their priorities avoid unnecessary interference and do not mingle too much into daughter in law's affairs thirdly don't assess your sons and daughter in law's life and make their life difficult number 4 don't try to control them just be with them when they need you do not unnecessarily help them when they don't need your help if they need if they seek your help only then you can go and help them out patience and forgiveness are the two best tools that can help you remain in harmony abandon all unnecessary and vulgar talks because this will keep you safe and also have lot of mutual understanding between the two hope these tips are useful for you in your family life as well continue watching this videos and also share these videos to most of your friends